it'll give you a potion now. But let's give it some music. First, we want a music or some sound for it opening. So you do that. And then what we can do is we put in the sound for getting the item. This one's good. But those two sounds will play and interfere each other. So what we need to do is put a way of maybe 10 frames. So it'll play that. And then right after that ends, it'll go that. As long as you put the right, the right amount of frames in there. 20 frames is 1 second. So 10 is half a second. Okay, so once you got that. What should happen is this. See? And you got a potion. As you can see, it's in here. Okay. One thing I forgot to do is make it so it tells you you got a potion. And just do your text. And there you go. But still, the treasure chest doesn't look like it's really it's really appearing. So I'll maybe you want to add an animation to it. Well what we can do is better give you can rename events to help you so you memorize what they are. And then what you can do is make it so that the animation comes on the chest and say you don't know what one you want to happen to make it look like it's appearing there. Well what you can do is there's this cool thing on database. You can go through this, pick certain ones. You can do like do that and watch it. Watch what it does. Um a good one I think to use is that. Even though it's called confuse and has nothing to do with treasure chest, but what we can do is show animation, chest, confuse. Okay. Now what should happen is the animation should appear over it, but the chest will be there before the animation can finish. So what we need to do is put this between there and then put a, another weight between it so the chest waits until it gets over with until the animation's over with see pretty cool and there you go now let's do I'm gonna put in one more switch I'll teach you about variables okay Say this guy is feeling sick and he wants a potion. I already have this all made, so I'm going to delete it. But say he's sick and he wants a potion. Well, what a coincidence, there's a potion right there. Well, what you can do is you can do, there's an easy way to do this. You can just do conditional branches, but that's a whole nother tutorial. So I'll just do variable. You can make a variable, potion, make a variable called potion do add one so basically when you open this you'll get the item potion and you also get a variable potion and this guy he'll say something different to you when when you have that variable potion so I think this is him but what you need to do is you need to set it so potion is one or above that way once you get the variable potion from there you can go over here and he'll say whatever he'll do whatever you put in here there you go you should do that you need to make a move though but if we keep it like that then he's gonna keep saying thank you so much um, what we can do is, or what we need to do, is control variable, 
since you give it to him, you need to subtract it so you don't have it anymore. Same with the item. So decrease the potion too. Okay. But then once that happens, he'll go back to saying I I'm I have been feeling sick lately, which is why we need to make a new event page and say I feel much better now. Same guy. Maybe we can make him a bit sickly. There you go. Now he looks sick. Like he's about to barf. Um, but put on self switch A and then do self switch A on. So. It looks funny. Oh no, what do I ever do? Where's the potion? What's this? Oh, I have a potion. Oh, what the heck did I do? Oh, whoops. This was supposed to happen. Um. Oh. Whoops, there you go. Not sure. Actually, you clicked the wrong thing. Get back here. I've been feeling sick lately. Blah, blah, blah. Get a potion. It's right there. See, now he's feeling much better. Except I forgot to make him move. him a little bit faster now that he's not sick. Hold on, I forgot to make him green too. There. So now you've made movable light, made a bird, you made rain, fog, background, a switch, animation, Variables, self switches. But one thing you might want to know is that if you have rain going on, you want to, and you go into like a tent or something like this, you want to make it so it's a set weather effects none so it doesn't look like it's raining in the tent. So that way you can go in the tent and it won't be raining. Because if you don't do that, I'll keep raining. Like that. And there you go. That pretty much concludes my tutorial. Hopefully I did a good job explaining everything. Um, and yeah. Thanks.